the mouse wheel and mouse clicks. The mouse will be one main input method for AutoCAD besides the command line, so it's useful to know what it can do for you. Whenever we left click on the screen, we enter a selection mode. Dragging to the right is one method of selection and dragging to the left is another. We'll get into this in a little more detail later, but just so you know, left clicking allows you to select items that are on the screen. Now, if I right click on the screen, I get this menu. And this menu would depend in whatever mode that we're in at the time. Right now, since I'm not doing anything, this is the menu that you would see. We have repeat the last command, which for me is erase. And we can repeat some of the last inputs. As you can see, I've had the erase, arc, open, and some layer commands as well. We can copy things from the clipboard. We can isolate, as well as some more navigation tools, as well as undo, pan, zoom, and the steering wheels. You can also find your options as well as the quick calculator here. We'll get into all these in a little more detail in a later tutorial. I just want you to know that this is where you can find them. Let's go ahead and create a line. Don't worry about creating lines just yet. I'll get into this next. But we'll go ahead and left click here, left click here, and this is giving AutoCAD our commands. It's asking us to specify the next point. So a left click is how we do that. But now, if we right click, notice that the menu is different this time. But still, we can enter commands into AutoCAD this way. We can enter, cancel, recent input, close, undo, snap overrides, pan, zoom, steering wheels, and quick calculator. Notice this group right here, the close and undo. That will be the same that's down here, the close and undo from the command line. So if I wanted to click close, I can go ahead and click close and the line is now closed. By using only the mouse, you can greatly increase the speed of your drafting 